Let's go guys. Let's learn how to round up decimal place given any place value to any decimal number, okay? So usually we follow these steps actually. You know, step one, locate the place value first or first locate the place value. Then draw a vertical line after the place value. If the digit after the place value, in other words, after the vertical line is less than five, drop all the digit to the right and leave the rest of the digit as they are and of course there is another option if digit after the place value is greater than five add one to its last digit in the given place just before the vertical line drop the rest of the digit remember don't forget to drop those digits some student i have noticed that over the years some students still write down even though they round up they put down zero 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 to the right no that's not right okay so let's take a look here can we actually do this problem well this is just an example okay you're gonna have many different problem you're gonna have to face but if you know this rule you can easily do this and nowadays many calculator actually does round it for you again calculator is optional you don't want to touch calculator first you should know it manually you know it takes time to do type in the calculator also but if you know how to do it mentally it's really really plus point okay so number one they said round 15.897 dollars to the nearest cents so I'll nearest cents nearest hundred in any money answer we always round to the nearest hundred so this is my tenth and this is my hundredth so clearly we are we should actually put down a vertical line let me use this one here i'm going to use a vertical line with this one so that is my vertical line as you see clearly right so if the digit after the vertical line is five or greater we basically add one to the place value we just add one add one to the place value okay so that will give you and also we drop the number after the vertical line so 9 plus 1 is 10 and 1 is there 8 plus 1 is 9 and of course you carry down 15 so it's 15 dollar 90 cents that's how you round it up to the nearest hundred or nearest cents okay Let's do number two, round this to the nearest tenth. So nearest tenth. So which one is the nearest tenth? The first digit is nearest tenth. So I'm gonna have a vertical line here, right? So now notice that, notice that the number here, up here, as you clearly see, is seven. So which is bigger than five? So we have to drop all the number to its right and we add one, add one, to the place value okay so we don't have any whole number so 0 0.2 that's it this is the answer for the nearest tenth okay let's take a look the following problem if you know how to do it i always encourage you to pause it to do the problem and check the answer later on with me okay now number three round this one to the nearest thousand so well this is a place value you have learned earlier okay so thousand place so this is a tenth this is a hundred this is thousand so as you clearly see the third digit is thousand okay so i can actually have a vertical line here if i want right that's the vertical line okay now after the vertical line the number you see is less than five so therefore i'm gonna i'm gonna cross out that four and i will not add anything to the place value so my answer is going to be as 5.123 notice that i don't want to put zero here no that would be wrong i don't want to put a zero here if i do so i'm not following the round of rule the point we are rounding up the reason basically to make sense to have less digit okay so and it makes more sense but instead of less digit if you still carry on all the digit that's not good so please don't do that okay all right so that is how you do this one okay now number four here right round 19.897 to the nearest hundredth so you know nearest hundred so definitely second decimal place right so i'm going to have a vertical line here and 
I clearly see the digit after the you know place value which is after the vertical line is a seven so we're going to cross that out and also not only cross that we're going to add one to this one here okay so we're going to add one so eight nine plus one is ten have a zero eight plus one is nine point one nine nineteen ninety okay nineteen ninety as you clearly see right let's do the next one so how do we do the next one so next one is oops sorry let me go down here okay so i have two more actually okay two more okay so next one says round this to the nearest ten thousand so here you go we have to read it carefully nearest ten thousand ten thousand not only thousand it's ten thousand so how do you read it so basically it's a ten hundred thousand ten thousand here you go we found it that's a ten thousand here okay that's ten thousand so i'm gonna arrow it down here a little bit and this is what is ten thousand okay now you can draw a vertical line as like a before or it's, it's just optional this is your choice you can do as long as you can identify your place value okay so again number one is ten number three is hundred number four is thousand number five is ten thousand and the number after the vertical line is five and bigger we draw for all the number and add with this one so what we have we have a 2.1346 if you actually add it from the top that's what you see and definitely this is called rounding nearest 10,000 now the last one I have here it says round to the nearest whole number okay so how do you do that nearest whole number you clearly see that would be my nearest whole number so you know what I'm gonna have this vertical line here okay so after the vertical line I see one which is less than five I'm gonna drop all the number and guess what I'm gonna bring down I'm gonna bring down the two as it is so because I'm not adding anything so my two is gonna come down here to play and that is a whole number w h o l whole number I hope you like the video and you know if you have any question concern you just um, you know have in the comment box you just comment it thank you so much